You know, there's a, a couple of cliches that go along with consuming dairy products, cow's milk. So what we're going to be talking about is cow's milk. You know, some people drink camel milk or goat milk, et cetera, but let's focus on cow's milk. The cliches are that no other animals drinks milk from another species of animal. Okay, people are eating cow's milk and no animal drinks milk after its weaning period. Adults drinking cow's milk, eating cheese. Yeah. Well, you know, cow's milk is ideal for growing calves. You know, a calf doubles in size in just just a few days. It do doesn't take long. They grow really rapidly, and so they need they need a lot of uh, everything. You know, fat and energy and protein and etc. So this this cow's milk is designed mother's milk to do ideally for a calf, and, and so it is with each and every mammal. As the mother mammal develops a milk that is perfect for its infant, it has to, or the species wouldn't survive. So we. We have ideal milk for our babies, the human breast milk it's called. And you, you really can't mimic it, even though the drug companies try with various formulas, it, it doesn't even come close. So human breast milk is for babies. Human breast milk has uh, lots of fat because babies need a lot of fat growing. Only 5% of the calories are protein. It doesn't need much protein. There's a lot of sugar, lactose in it because again, the infant needs a lot of energy, a lot of uh, carbohydrates to, to grow to a proper size. When it quits, quits consuming mother's milk and maybe at two or three years of age. So human breast milk is designed, designed ideally for human babies. It's always the right temperature. You know, the container is uh, well accepted by the entire human population. It's always sterile. You know, you don't have to heat it up uh, or, or boil the nipples or the glass jars anytime ahead of time, but it just comes out perfect. It's so convenient too. Oh, anyway, human breast milk is ideal for human babies, but when you feed cow's milk, to a human baby, you run into problems. You run into a problem with them being three times as much protein. It's overloaded with a body with protein. Uh, it has a lactose, milk sugar, which the human baby breast milk does too. It has lactose, but you stop drinking milk when you go through your weaning period, which is a time when the intestinal tract loses an enzyme called lactase, which digests lactose. So when adults drink milk sugar, lactose, they get diarrhea, stomach cramps, and gases called lactose intolerance. How common is this? Well, most people in the world have lactose intolerance. That's right. Most human beings walking on this planet are lactose intolerant. They can't to tolerate the milk sugar as an adult. 90% of Blacks, Hispanics, Inuit Eskimos have lactose intolerance. Maybe uh, Latin Americans, maybe it's down to 60%, but maybe 20% of whites have, have lactose intolerance and 80% of them persist in their ability to digest lactose. So you got a problem with the milk sugar, you got a problem with the protein. There's no dietary fiber at all, period zero, no fiber at all. And most of your dairy products are low in carbohydrate, which is what you're looking for for energy. Cheese is only 2% carbohydrate. So it's, it's not an ideal food if you want to win a race to say the least. There's also some special qualities of this, uh, of this milk product product. There's enough research to say it is addicting. They're called casomorphines. The body adapts, the brain adapts to consuming dairy products and somehow you can't get away from it. You become addicted. You have a problem with uh, high infectious rates, listeria, E. coli, salmonella. These are common infestations of our products and they have to be withdrawn from the market shelves. So uh, cow's milk is uh, great for baby cows, but it's not good for people at any stage in life. Human breast milk is ideal for our babies, but you need to stop at a certain time, like two or three years is probably long enough.